Hi, welcome to Mathematics with Tom. I am Tom, and in this case today, we are going to take a look at an example. This is an example, and we're going to project onto, onto a plane. Okay, here we go. So really, the problem the problem could also be rephrased like this. It could be rephrased as, um, let me do it this way. A, let's say A is the matrix of 1, 1, 1, and 0, 1, 2. Make sure, I, okay, that. And B is the vector 6, 0, 0. Okay, what do we have here? Well, if I ask, let's just try this. Let's just solve AX equals B, okay? Let's solve that. Well, that's gonna be an augmented matrix of one, 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 zero, one, two, and B is six, zero, zero. And let's start row reducing. We're gonna start, we're gonna take row two minus row one and row 3 minus row 1, and let's see what this gives us. This is going to give us a 1, a 0, 6. 1 minus 1 is 0, 1, and then 0, that's going to be a minus 6. And I'm going to have a 0, 2 minus 0, and then 0 minus 6, okay? And this time, though, let's take row 3 minus two row twos. Let's see what we get. So the first and second rows are the same. So I have one, zero, six, zero, one, minus six. And I have a zero. Two minus two is zero. A minus, uh, yeah, a minus six. I think I might have made a mistake there somewhere. I think that's right. And so now I have a, a minus 6, but I have a plus 12 for a 6. So, oh, wow. Okay, hold on a second then. That, because, because of this last row here, this 0 equals 6 row, what that tells me, it says, it says that AX equals B has no solution. So, so what you can also say is that B is not in the column space of A. So our best solution, the next best alternative, so our best solution, our best solution is the, is the projection, projection of B onto column space of A. All right, and here we go. So I'm going to set this up. What what we said is a few things. Let's do a little bit of review. We said that the um, we what we did is we started out with this. So if a a x equals b does not have a solution. So what we're going to solve is this a transpose a. And we're going to get some x hat equals a transposed b. Okay, so let's find each of these components now. So let's find this one first, A transpose A. A transpose is 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, times the matrix of A, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, now, if we've done this correctly, this should be symmetric. Well, let's see. The first row times the first column is going to be 3. First row times the second column is 3. Second row times the first column, that's 3. And then the second row times the second column is going to be 0, 1, plus 4, 5, 5, 5. Okay. And we also need, and we need A transpose B. Well, that's going to be uh, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2 times B, which is 
six zero zero. Okay. What does that give me? That's going to give me a six and then a zero. Six zero. Okay. Well, now let's see what we've got. Let's just set up this, uh, let's set up this matrix equation. This projection matrix equation. Well, this says that 3, 3, 3, 5 times some x hat is equal to a transpose b. Well, that's just 6, 0. Well, if we take and we have put this into an augmented matrix, and then we're going to take right off the bat, I'm going to just take row 2 minus row 1. So this is going to give me this matrix of um, 3, 3, 6, 0, 5 minus 3 is 2, 0 minus 6 is minus 6. And then we can multiply out and we can, this becomes the matrix of 1, 1, 2, and then 0, 1, minus 3. And let's solve that. So this just says that the x2 hat is minus 3. And, and it says that x1 hat uh, minus 3 equals 2. In other words, x1 hat is, is 5. x1 hat is 5. Okay. But what were we after? We were after p. Well, p, we said, p the is, p is a x hat. Well, a is 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, times our x hat, which is 5, minus 3. So this becomes, let's see, we're going to pick up a, this is going to be two columns, or one column, sorry, one column with three components. So we're going to have a, a 5, then we're going to have a 5 minus 3, and then we're going to have a 5 minus 6 for minus 1, and there's P. There we go. So the projection into the plane, so 5, 2, negative 1, and this is in the column space of A. But there's a little bit more to this that I think we should take a look at. And here's what it is. This vector E. You remember E, we said, was B minus P, which is A, X, hat. Well, we have both of those. B is 6, 0, 0. And we're going to subtract our P. That's going to be 1. Um, oh, whoops, I'm sorry. 5, 2, minus 1. That's going to be, let's see, uh, 6 minus 5 is 1, minus 2, 1. Okay, there's something special about this E, and what is that? Uh, I'm going to turn this screen off for a little bit, and I'm going to go back to our earlier picture. So I'm going to bring back this picture here. Turn off this picture for a moment. And what I wanted to, to see is, look at this. E, E is this blue vector. Um, e is this blue vector here. Oh, whoops. i show that. Uh, sorry. OK, so E is this blue vector right here. Well, look at what E is. E is perpendicular to the column space of A. Well, what space or what space is E in? Well, if you think of our fundamental, our four fundamental spaces, the space that's orthogonal to the column space is the null space of A transposed. It's the null space of A transposed. That means that a transpose e should be 0. Let's go and let's check and see if, in fact, that is the case. So let's check. This is a great way to know if your calculations are correct. So if I take a transpose e, this is going to be 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2 times 
1 minus 2, 1. And this is going to be, let's see, in the first component, you're going to have a 1 minus 2 plus 1. And the next one's going to be 0 minus 2 plus 2. Sure enough, that is the 0 vector. And that is how we calculate the projection of B onto uh, a column space. And it's the reason why. It's because there's usually no solution. And that E, that E, and I should have written that E right here, E is in the null space of A transposed. And I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.